I am Johanna Johansen from University of Oslo, and this work was done together with Simone Fischer Hübner from Kalsva University. This talk is about making privacy useful and involving certification schemes from SEALs and Trustmarks towards privacy labels. This requires to measure the usability of privacy of technological systems using human computer interaction methods, so to be displayed on sc scales such as energy efficiency labels. The European General Data Protection Regulation, which is also known as GDPR, encourages, and I quote from the re recital 100, the establishment of certification mechanisms and data protection seals and marks to allow data subjects to quickly assess the level of data protection of relevant products and services, end of quote. Moreover, the usability goals of GDPR are left open to subjective interpretations and are too general to be used in a certification process. Usually certification schemes provide only a seal showing compliance using a binary type of evaluation. We want to go beyond and measure on a scale how well the privacy is respected and how easy it is for a user to understand that. A scale can then be visualized in the form of traffic light or energy efficiency type of labels. Our conceptualization of usable privacy is based on the ISO standard 9241, Ergonomics of Human System Interaction, specifically part 11 on usability. We adapt their definition of usability to include privacy as follows. Usable privacy refers to the extent to which a product or a service protects the privacy of the users in an efficient, effective, and satisfactory way by taking into consideration the particular context of use. Based on 30 usable privacy goals, which we identified throughout the GDPR text, we have defined a set of 23 usable privacy criteria, each of these criteria being composed of several sub-criteria designed to measure effectiveness, efficiency, and satisfaction with which privacy goals of data protection are reached. We built on the EuroPrice certification scheme, which assures that the GDPR legal ground is covered, including data protection principles and data subject rights. Our usable privacy criteria come on top, fine-graining the euro price evaluation with usability measurements showing how well the legislation is respected. To structure the certification process, we have created a model, which we call usable privacy cube, composed of three variability axes containing the useful privacy criteria, rights of the data subjects, and respectively privacy principles. The basis of the cube has the euro price criteria reorganized so to emphasize both the perspective of data subject and of controllers. The usability criteria that we propose require the evaluators to take into consideration the context of use as well. The UP cube model has several benefits including visualizing the intersections between the three axes and allowing for ordering the criteria on each axis to support the specific certification process. As further work, we intend to create guidelines on how to establish the context of use and to investigate which existing HOSEI methods for usability testing should be used for each of the UP criteria and in what way. We will also look into how to translate the results from the evaluation into a visual representation to be displayed on the product in the form of layered privacy labels. Measuring and visually displaying aspects of usability of privacy allows users to easily compare to products and make truly informed choices. For companies that are serious about privacy, such privacy labels would offer a way for greater business differentiation beyond GDPR compliance. To sum up, we have defined a set of usable privacy criteria producing measurable results and added these on top of the EuroPrice certification criteria, making it fit within our usable privacy cube model, which offers benefits like visualization, organization, intersections, and ordering. You find more information and the full list of the criteria in our papers. Thank you.